Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I have for you guys another 10 amazing things that your iPhone can do and you probably didn't even know about. Now, before I get into the video, I just want to ask you guys to please smash that like button as it helps out a lot. And also don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Starting off with a camera trick. So when you're on the camera app, and of course you want to take a video most of the time you have your iphone in one hand and nowadays most of us just shoot on the portrait mode so if you have your iphone on your hand like this you don't want to reach out and basically you can't reach to the flash right there if you want to enable it or disable it before shooting a video but what you can do is just tap here where it says video and just swipe up like this and now it will give you an option right there to turn on or off the flash of your camera or also leave it in auto when setting an alarm on your iphone the most annoying thing is of course when it goes off and you're trying to snooze but you will have to look for that button on the middle of the screen of your iphone you will have to reach for your iphone and then of course take a look at the screen and snooze your alarm here i have an alarm set and you can see how I will snooze. I just tap any button right here on my iPhone, whether that be volume up, volume down, or the side button, everyone will work. Just go ahead and just press any button that you have on your iPhone and that will snooze any alarm that you have. Here is a cool feature for devices that have touch id if you have one of those devices then you know that you can add more than one fingerprint to your iphone and then of course you can use either one of them to actually unlock your device did you know that if you tap here you can of course rename them or delete them but if you have them like this they will just show finger one two three how many you have but when you will go to actually delete one of them or rename one of them you don't know which actually it is what you can do you can just tap and hold here don't push the button just tap and hold and you can see right there it will highlight the actual finger where it is right there on the settings you can see that highlight so that way you can know which finger is which so just press basically just put your finger on the button right there don't press it and it will show you which finger it is on that section did you know that on your iphone you can search notes messages basically anything email on any app you can also search using emojis here i'm on the imessage app and what i can do here is just swipe down to go to the search bar and from here i can just go to the emojis section and just type an emoji right there and it will show me all the conversations where I have that emoji. So if I'm just looking like for a specific emoji that I've sent to someone or I have received, I wanna to get to that message, I can go ahead and just search right there by using the emoji. You probably know that on iOS 14, Apple has added the ability to now translate web pages on Safari. So if you're on a web page in another language, you can just tap right there and you will have the option here to translate to English or to whichever language your iPhone is set to. But did you know that you can have more options there? If you just go to settings and you go to general, go under language and region right here, you go to other languages, you can add more languages right here. So if you have like another language that you know or use, you can just go ahead and select it from here. And you don't have to change the language of your iPhone to that. You can still keep English in this case, I can keep English, but I will also add that language to my iPhone. And now all I gotta do, when I go to translate a web page, you can see if I just tap right there, it will give me the option to now translate website. It doesn't say translate to English, but it says translate website. And when I tap on it, it will show me the list of the languages that I have, and I can pick from either one of them and translate the website to that language. On iOS 14, you can send all your messages using Siri. Now you don't even have to unlock your iPhone to send a message to someone using Siri. You don't even have to touch your iPhone. Hands free, you can just ask Siri. Once it comes up, I won't say the word because I don't wanna just put up Siri on your phone. So all you gotta do is just say, send an audio message to the con contact that you want. Send an audio message to test. Okay, recording. Hello. And there we 
and there it goes now it will be able to actually send all i gotta do is just say send and it will send that audio message to that contact and i don't even have to touch my phone if i use the hey word to launch siri on iOS 14, when you take a picture with the portrait mode, you will have the option to change the amount of blur that's around the object of the photo after you have taken the photo. You just go to the edit mode and you will see right there it says F, that's the aperture of the photo. If you tap on it, it will show you the slider. So if you go to lower numbers here, so this is 1.4, this is the lowest aperture that you can use on the iPhone 12 Pro Max here. It will have way more blur or you can have less blur if you just move it right here from the right side to the left. So you can go from 1.4 up to 16. Of course, that won't have any blur around the object at all. When you go to one of your albums on the Photos app on iOS 14, you have here the option to actually rearrange the album. Basically, you can do that by rearranging it based on like different things. So you tap on sort right there and you can do that based on custom order, oldest to newest or newest to oldest. But did you know that you can actually just drag any picture you want and just place it anywhere you want on the album, just like you do with an icon on the home screen. You can also pick more than one photos and still rearrange them, place them anywhere you want. So that's really, really cool, a very nice option to have. And of course, you probably know about now about the feature that we have on iOS, on websites and anywhere. All you got to do is just tap right there to go to the top. But on the Photos app, you can also go to the bottom simply by tapping on the tab right there. So you can see I tap on the status bar to go to the top of the album. If I want to go to the bottom, all I got to do is just tap on there where it says albums and it will take me to the bottom of that page. On iOS 14, you can have your shortcuts as widgets on the home screen of your device. Now, once you add a shortcut, it will actually show you the first shortcut that you have on the list on the app. But did you know that you can actually edit these and of course place that they are any shortcut that you want, you just go here and just choose the shortcut that you want. But of course, you don't wanna have a ton of shortcuts on the home screen of your device. What you can do is just drag this to create a stack here so you can have maybe like seven, eight or even 10 shortcuts and all in one place. And of course you can switch between them here and choose whichever you want. And when you wanna play music on your device, all you gotta do is just go to the spotlight search and search for the artist that you want. You don't even have to open the music app. Once you have searched for the artist that you want or the song that you want, you can see here it says music and you will have a little play button right there. You tap there and it actually starts playing the music. You can see now we have that music playing right here. So that's really, really awesome. You don't even need to go to the music app. You just right here from the search bar, search for any music you want and start playing right away from here. So that is it for this video, guys. These are 10 amazing things that your iPhone can do and you probably didn't even know about. Thank you guys for watching and supporting my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you learned something new today. And I will see you guys on the next one.